All right, so we just took our first five shots and I didn't record. Um, this is the uh, Rock River Arms um, 308 and uh, I'm shooting some hand loads I made. 308, uh, 150 grain FMJ Hornady's with CFE 223. Uh, right around 47 grains and right now I'm getting right around 2,800 feet per second out of this. Twenty-eight hundred feet per second out of this. So I'm going to run five more. Um, capture these on camera. is absolutely putting a massive hole into the uh, target downrange and that gives us 10 rounds so let's go downrange and see what we got there's the the group at roughly 50 yards All right, this next grouping, this next one is, uh, here's the ammo I made. Um, this is the 308, uh, 165 grain Remington Soft Point, CFE 223, 46 grain. And uh, this is kind of like what I'm hoping to do for a hunting load. That's the brass. Okay, so those aren't coming out quite as fast. I'm gonna have to come up on the powder there. And the group's not as good. This is the ammo I made. This is the 308 ammo I made. There's a 10 shot group hunting ammo. I think we're good. Holy cow. I think we're good. Let's see how that goes out to 100. But for sure here at 50 yards, it's good. This next setup is uh, some Patriot Defense ammo that I bought online. It's uh, 147 grain FMJ 308, and uh, I just want to see what kind of what kind of performance we get. Oof. 
Yep, got that one. but it's not very accurate. <laughs> it's all over the place. Yeah, not horrible, but not the 10 round grips I got with my hand loads at all, um, which is a bummer. One more load to chronograph. So this is SAR M80 Turkish uh, 76251 ammo. Um, you can see here that it's, uh, I want to say it's 147 grain, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, I had a few challenges with this ammo in this rifle. Um, not sure exactly what that was, but some feeding stuff was going on uh, early on. I don't know if it was the gun breaking in or the ammo, but uh, I want to see what kind of performance we get out of it. Probably the worst group of them all, sorry to say. Remember this is the Turkish ammo and you saw the other spreads and the rifle had time to cool off and probably the worst group. First rounds went here and I thought I was on my way and then they started to open up a little bit. All right, folks, well, the, the sun is brutally bright, but I want to see if I can get a couple of shots off at least. It's Mr. 308 here. Let's see what we get. It's really bright.
see. GoPro ran out of juice. Two batteries ran through them all today. Doing the 100 yard walk. Got to shoot the uh, handgun for a lot of rounds. And then uh, 556. Got a, got a, a 1x4 Vortex Scud. One by eight though needs some. Uh, I think it's just a little off in terms of not quite level, so I'm gonna have to mess with that. But uh, great glass um, on both of them. And then the 308, excellent rifle, and my hand loads worked great. But uh, my goodness, that Cabela scope relief and it's very very touchy looks like I'm done in time because the wind is blowing my targets down 308 it moved itself down uh, was hitting in this area with different loads this up here is the uh, Cabela's scope 308 handloads